All right, so in this problem, I have one to the power of x squared over eight to the power of x is equal to 61. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, it's pretty obvious that one to the power of any number is simply one, meaning whatever the value of x is, one to the power of x squared is gonna equal one. So I can just write this as one over eight to the power of x is equal to 61 because 1 to the power of x squared that's the same thing as 1. So now I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 8 to the power of x. So then these two cancel out and I have 1 is equal to 61 times 8 to the power of x. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 61. These two cancel out and now I'm going to have 1 over 61 is equal to 8 to the power of x. Now if I take the log on both sides, I have log 1 over 61 is equal to log 8 to the power of x. And 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have log 1 over 61 is equal to log 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of, or sorry, log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front, so this is going to equal b times log a. And 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, that's, if I have something from a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3x. And now I can go ahead and move this 3x to the front, so now I have log 1 over 61 is equal to 3x times log 2. So now to solve this, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3 times log 2. So now I'm going to be left with log 1 over 61 over 3 times log 2 is equal to x because x is the only thing that's remaining here. Now, log 1 over 61, this is the same thing as log 1 minus log 61. Now I have this over 3 times log 2, which is equal to x. And now log 1 this is equal to 0. Log 61, this is equal to 1.7853. And 3 times log 2, this is equal to 0 0.9031. So now I have 0 minus 1.7853 over 0 0.9031. And this is equal to negative 1.9769. So x is equal to negative 1.9769. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 9. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite 20 here as 10 times 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 minus 9. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 9, which I'm going to rewrite as 3 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is 2 to the power of 10, and b is 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 plus 3 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 3. 
Now, if you guys already didn't know, 2 to the power of 10, that's simply equal to 1024. So, now I have 1024 plus 3 times 1024 minus 3. And 1024 plus 3, that's going to be 1027. So I have 1027 times 1024 minus 3, that's 1021. Now, 1027, I can rewrite as 1000 plus 27. And 1021, I can rewrite as 1000 plus 21. So now I have 1,000 plus 27 times 1,000 plus 21. So to solve this, I'm actually going to distribute. So I'm going to start by distributing the 1,000 here. So I have 1,000 times 1,000, which is 1,000 squared, plus 1,000 times 21, plus now I'm going to distribute the 27. So now I have 27 times 1,000, plus at the end, 27 times 21. So now first off, 1,000 squared, that's simply equal to 1 million. 21 times 1,000, that's 21,000. 27 times, times 1,000 is 27,000. And finally, 27 times 21, that's going to be 567. So now all there's left to do is add all these up. So, so I'm going to start from the end to the beginning. So 567 plus 27,000 that's going to be 27,567 and now this plus 21,000 that's going to be 48,567 and now this plus 1 million that's 1,048,567 so that is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 8 to the power of x is equal to 16. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting both of these. So 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. And 16, this is the same thing as, because this is a double of 6, 8, 2 to the power of 4. So now if I replace 2 to the power of 3 with 8 and 2 to the power of 4 with 16, I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x, which is 2 to the power of 3x, and this is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this is the same thing as m is equal to n. So, meaning these two exponents are equal to each other, meaning 3x is equal to 4. Now, to solve this, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3. These two cancel out, and now I have x is equal to 4 over 3. And this is the same thing as one and one-thirds. Now I actually have a second method to solving this problem. So for my second method, again first start with a to the power of x is equal to 16. Now I'm going to, instead of just simply putting 8 and 16 in different forms, I'm actually going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log a to the power of x is equal to log 16. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front. So this would e is going to equal b times log a. So in this case I have log a to the power of x and I can move x to the front. So this is going to equal x times log 8 which is equal to log 16. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 8. So then these two cancel out and I have x is equal to log 16 
over log 8. Now log 16 is the same thing as log 8 times 2. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, log a times 2, that's going to equal log a plus log 2 over log 2, or sorry, log 8, which is the same thing as log 8 over log 8 plus log 2 over log 8. And log 8 and log 8, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 2, which is log 2 over log 8. This is the same thing as log 2 to the power of 3. And now, remember, I can move my x1 to the front. So now I have 1 plus log 2 over 3 times log 2. Now, these two log 2s can simply cancel out. Now I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 3, which is equal to 1 and 1 thirds. So this is my answer.